Hello everybody, today we will discuss about modified Sapporo criteria or Sydney criteria. This Sapporo criteria is used to diagnose antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. This Sapporo criteria says one clinical criteria and one lab criteria should be present to diagnose antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. In clinical criteria, there are four things can be defined and out of four any one should be present and what are they if there are three or more than three pregnancy losses which are happening less than 10 weeks of pregnancy second if there is even one pregnancy loss at more than 10 weeks third if there is no pregnancy loss but there is a history of preterm labor and this preterm labor is happening at less than 34 weeks of gestation due to patient either developing PIH that is pregnancy induced hypertension, preeclampsia or IUGR that is intrauterine growth restriction and in case of uteroplacental insufficiency and fourth vascular thrombosis. So, if out of these four, if any one clinical criteria is present, then we are going to say yes. Along with this, there has to be one laboratory criteria. What is lab criteria? Lab criteria says there should be medium to high titer of antibodies. And any one antibody either should be lupus anticoagulant, anti-cardiolipin antibody, and beta 2 glycoprotein antibody. Now, any one antibody should be present medium to high titer on two occasions 12 weeks apart. So, one clinical criteria and one lab criteria should be fulfilled. Then you say that yes, your patient is a patient of antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. So, this is a modified Saporos criteria or Sydney criteria. Thank you for listening. Thank you.